hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is brain abscess uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesintreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area so you can click that link visit the website now i come to a topic what is brain abscess in the previous videos we discussed about the types of the abscesses you know and what are abscess uh, basically abscess is a, uh, a pus filled swelling uh, that can happen anywhere in the body it could be on the skin or it may be in the inside the body and the inside the abscesses are known as internal abscesses and the brain abscess is one of the internal abscesses, one type of the internal abscess known as brain, which uh, location is in the brain. You know. And uh, the brain abscess is a pus filled swelling in the brain, and uh, it usually occurs when the bacteria or maybe fungi uh, enter the brain tissue after an infection or maybe uh, due to trauma or uh, any severe head injury. And uh, uh, there's a risk of developing the brain abscess uh, uh, which is extremely low in uh, you know and uh, it is a life-threatening condition and uh, it should be diagnosed and treated as soon as possible and the symptoms uh, may develop quickly or uh, maybe slowly uh, but they can include uh, whether they develop slowly or quickly, you know. Uh, the most important symptoms are the headaches, uh, changes in the mental state, uh, high temperature, uh, seizures or the fits, and nausea and vomiting, and uh, change in the vision, uh, or maybe stiff neck. Now, when we are talking about the symptom like headache, you know, uh, most it's severe and it's located in the single section of the head and cannot be relieved by the painkillers. Also, it's severe headache. And uh, when we are talking about the changes in the mental state, which means that uh, the confusion and the irritability. And uh, there are also problems with the nerve functions, you know, which means that uh, cause uh, the symptom could be the uh, muscle weakness or maybe uh, slurred speech and maybe paralysis on one side of the body so these are the neurological symptoms you know. and uh, the changes in VN uh, like uh, uh, blurring or graying of the VN or the double VN one is a diplopia uh, which may be due to the absence, uh, like uh, that abscess is putting pressure on the optic nerve, you know, so which can cause the vision ch uh, changes. So these are the common symptoms. Now, any symptoms that suggest a problem with the brain and the nervous system should be treated as a medical emergency. And uh, if you are suffering from the slurred speech, if you're suffering from the muscle weakness or paralysis or the seizures occurring in a person with no obvious reason or no previous history, don't wait. Call the emergency services straight away. Ambulance or whatever the emergency services available in your location, call them straight away. Don't waste your time. This could be life-threatening. Okay. So any symptoms that suggest a worsening like uh, infection such as fever or vomiting or uh, uh, it should be reported to uh, your doctor you know so uh, it's very important now the next thing is what are the causes well there are three main ways the brain abscess can develop the number one is the infection uh, in any other part of the skull such as ear uh, infection maybe sinusitis maybe dental abscess you know which can spread directly to the brain and other causes uh, infection in another part of the body for example uh, infection in the uh, that causes an immunia you know uh, spreading into the brain through the blood 
okay and uh, the trauma or the accident you know so um, uh, as a result of the severe head injury maybe due to the road accident or any falls you know and that cracks uh, uh, open the skull you know and allowing the bacteria or fungi to enter the brain due to this wound you know so this is the third source uh, but uh, in some cases the source uh, uh, is not uh, known you know so uh, these are the main ways uh, when uh, um, the, which can cause the uh, brain abscesses okay now the next thing is how do doctors diagnose the brain abscess and if the brain abscess is suspected uh, the initial assessment will made uh, which will be based on your symptoms uh, the medical history and whether you had any recent uh, infection or uh, road accident or any fall or any weakened immune system you know so if there is any evidence available and then your doctor will order the blood tests uh, that can be carried out to check if there is any sign any markers of uh, or the signs of infection you know and if you are uh, referred to the hospital for further tests uh, your doctor uh, the consultant there will uh, perform the uh, ct scans uh, mris and uh, use the ct scan is a series of x rays uh, that are used to uh, produce a detailed image of the inside of your body and uh, mri uh, which is uh, the magnetic resonance imaging uh, where the strong magnetic field and the radio waves are, are used to produce the detailed image of inside of your body so these are very helpful to find the exact location and the size and all that of the brain abscess and uh, if uh, the doctor is successful to find a, a like a brain abscess you know then a uh, the further testing will be involved like a CT scan guided aspiration of that uh, uh, brain abscess you know uh, and the purpose of this is to uh, remove that pus uh, which will ease the pressure as well and uh, but the main purpose will be to uh, test under the microscope and uh, this involves using the CT scan to guide the needle uh, to the site of the abscess more precisely to get the sample and uh, drain as well now once diagnosed uh, then what are uh, the treatment options well the brain abscess is regarded as uh, the medical emergency so the swelling caused by the abscess uh, can disrupt the blood and the oxygen supply to the brain so uh, there are uh, also a risk of abscess uh, rupture so which can cause the severe damage to the brain so if it's left on treated the brain abscess can cause permanent brain damage and could be fatal so it's very important that it's treated as soon as possible and uh, the brain abscess is usually treated uh, the combination of medications uh, antibiotics or the antifungal medications um, uh, if you know the source you know and uh, the surgery so it's a combination of surgery and the medications and uh, when the surgery is involved uh, either the drainage uh, through the hole in the skull which is known as simple aspiration or maybe opening the skull and removing the abscess uh, entirely so it depends on the location and the size of the abscess uh, so whatever the appropriate procedure your team of doctors decide you know and the treatment with the antibiotics often begins before the diagnosis is confirmed to reduce the sizes and the complications okay now the complications of the brain abscess uh, can include uh, number one uh, like reoccurring abscesses uh, brain damage uh, epilepsy and meningitis so these are the major complications now you should seek the immediate medical advice if you think that uh, there is even a small chance of abscess is coming back you know uh, so this is more common in the people with the weakened immune system and 
the other complication is the brain damage so mild to moderate like moderate brain damage uh, uh, often improves with the time uh, but the severe brain damage is likely to be permanent you know and uh, it's uh, you know the brain damage is more of a risk if the diagnosis and the treatment is delayed so it's very important that's why it's very important that uh, you get the treatment and the diagnosis as soon as possible epilepsy is another complication so uh, epilepsy is when uh, the person has the repeated seizures or the repeated fits you know and the meningitis is the other and the most severe and the life-threatening complication of the brain abscess it's life-threatening and uh, it's infection of the protective membranes around the brain uh, which requires urgent treatment and this is more common in children so these are the very serious complications. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you and goodbye.